Hey kids, today we're going to unbox, assemble, and install a Prinzu top rack. In case you're wondering what the top stands for, that's for topper, because it goes on the, your topper. Um, I have a GB Sport snug top topper that when I ordered it, I got the, uh, the Tahuli rails already installed. So we're gonna install this right onto that. Like I said during my Prinzu cab rack install video, if you own a Tacoma with a five foot bed, you know you can't put anything in the bed. You can't even sleep in the bed. So to have the roof rack um, go all the way up to the cab is super important if you wanna haul lumber or sheets of plywood or anything. If you wanna haul a couch, you got nothing unless you have a roof rack on your truck. Okay, well, let's get to unboxing this thing. All right, that's all getting recycled. There are the side rails. Here's all the hardware. Well, that's a lot of stuff. The one thing you won't see in Prinzu rack boxes, you'll never see instructions. I don't know why that is. Here are the cross pieces. One thing to take note on the cross pieces, we'll talk about this again. One side has these oval slots. The other side does not. You want these oval slots to face up because this is where you put your um, tie downs in. And then the ends, right, are tapped. side rails here's the T2 T3 topper five foot mounting kit okay and in this bag we have a whole ton of stuff a whole ton of stuff mounting hardware I think that's going to use that to put it on the track you get these little uh, tie-down rings, right? Remember those ovals? This is what goes in the oval to tie stuff down. You get crossbar hardware. I'm probably going to call them something other than crossbar a couple times. But basically that puts the crossbars on the sides. And then you get the feet. So there are four feet that come with this kit. See if we can open this up. Yeah, there we go. So here's one of them. Right, so that'll sit on a crossbar, it'll go this way, and then this will sit on your rack going this way. Cool. So let's lay this thing out and uh, put her together. Step one was lay everything out. So there we have all the rails and the first thing you have to do is decide where your four feet are going. My four feet that connected to the rack are going to go on the second one in, second from the first and second from the last. So it'll be this one and that one. Right, that's about as even a load distribution as I can get. When I put them in, that'll put a foot here and a foot back here. Um, 
If I was going to do it over again, I would have ordered another set of feet, honestly. And you can always add more later. What you're going to do is put the feet together because they have to go on before you can bolt the, uh, the side rails on. I'm sorry, the cross pieces on because they slide in. And here's a bag of the screws, or I'm sorry, the bolts and the washers that take a torque, a T30, a Torx bit, to put these on just like the regular cab rack. So now we're gonna set the feet up. I'm gonna put them all together. They look like this. And when they're done, they should look like this. Okay, and basically, they're gonna sit, here's your truck. This is gonna sit on top, right? And the rail's gonna go this way. These hook into the rail. So this, you put one in here. It gets a washer and a nylon locking nut on the bottom. Right? And then that's what locks onto the rail. And then just do that 16 times carriage bolt, washer, nylon locking nut. That's that part and then let me just cut away. And then it sits like this. This part here actually goes on the rack so it's a bolt, locking washer, big washer and they go through and then the bottom are these little square T-nuts, and that's the part that's going to slide into your Tahuli or your Yakima rack. Bolt, locking nut, big washer, put it through. T-nut if I can get it started. And there's another foot ready to put on, so put all your feet together. We've got our feet. All set up. They're gonna go, like I said, on the second one from the front and the second one from the rear. So I'm gonna put those on now. And all it is is, see if you can see this, all right? And that goes in like so, that goes in like so. See how easy that is? Look at it, just almost, it almost puts itself together. Those Prinzu guys are like magic how they figure this stuff out. There we go. Okay, so there's one. Ah, oh, see? Just gotta let it know who's boss. There we go. Okay, so that's one. Okay, I'm gonna do that to the back one, and then I'm just gonna screw them all together with those Torx head bits. And just like your Prinzu cab rack or access rack, you're gonna take all these bolts, and you're gonna put a lock washer, and a flat washer, right? I'm sure there's a much easier way I could do this, right? And you're going to make one of those, and you're going to do that to the whole bag, and lay them all out. Remember, keep those oval holes up. You can see you got choices, just like on your cab rack. You can put the cross pieces here, you can put them in the middle where they're adjustable. The front and the rear, right, have a, has this hole underneath, so you can let, stand it up vertically if you want. I'm going to lay all mine out horizontally. I can't think of a really good reason why I would add so much weight in the back that I'd want that extra stiffness. But if you need something like that, uh, it's definitely an option. And I'm just going to put mine in the, in the short holes so they're all equally spaced, just like I did on the roof. But you might want to do it differently. And you can. It's America.
now we're going to pick her up and put it on. You just have to make sure the feet, right? The feet slide into your rack. And again, if I had a friend to help me, this would be so much easier, but no friends. All right, now I just gotta go straighten that out, tighten everything down, and, uh, and we'll be done. I know, right, John? What are you doing in a garbage dump? What are you doing in the landfill? Well, there's my old skid plate and all the cup. And Marley and I are gonna recycle. Cause this isn't just steel. This is Toyota steel. This is Ninja steel. And when they add that metal to the rest of the metal, right? Put, take it and melt it down and add it to the metal. That ninja steel mixed in with all the other steel will just make America an even better place than it is. Right, Mo? Oh, Mo's window's shut. All right, so that's our civic duty for the day. What do you say, Marley? Marley says, always recycle your stuff. All right, on our way back from doing some uh, recycling, right Mo? Recycling, taking some pictures. Uh, I'm trying to think of questions y'all might have. I think the one I always hear is, how long does it take to install? I can't answer that because I was installing and videotaping at the same time. And that always adds it like doubles the time or sometimes it even triples the time if you want to do it right um, the other big question people have are about wind noise and I can definitely hear it uh, this is not a my truck wasn't a quiet truck to begin with but I definitely notice a little bit noise sounds like it's coming from the uh, rear passenger area and, uh, well whatever I'll just turn the radio up I'm half deaf anyway, so I can't hear it. So I'll just turn the radio up. It'll be good. All right, on our way back from doing some uh, recycling, right, Mo? Recycling, taking some pictures. Uh, I'm trying to think of questions y'all might have. I think the one I always hear is, how long does it take to install? I can't answer that because I was installing and videotaping at the same time and that always adds, it like doubles the time or sometimes it even triples the time if you want to do it right. Um, the other big question people have are about wind noise and I can definitely hear it. Uh, this is not a, my truck wasn't a quiet truck to begin with, but I definitely notice a little bit noise. Sounds like it's coming from the uh, rear passenger area. And, uh, well, whatever. I'll just turn the radio up. I'm half deaf anyway, so I can't hear it. So I'll just turn the radio up. It'll be good. I've used it, driven around with it, installed it, blah, blah, blah. Would I buy it again? Um, absolutely. I think it, it fits the truck really, really nice. Um, I've walked around on it. It's pretty pretty solid. The only thing I would change is I would buy another set of feet for the top rack in the back. Oh, hey, thanks so much. That's it. 
Uh, if you would, help me out. Hit subscribe. Then you'll know when I'm putting in my Switch Pro, when I put the light on, when we do the lift kit, you'll get notified of that. Hit the like button um, if you liked it. And if you don't like the video, let me know. Write something down in the comments. We can, uh, we'll talk about it. I haven't been doing the whole YouTube thing for a long time, so I'm not sure what people want to see. So if you don't tell me, I don't know. All right, that's it. Let's do a spin around the truck and uh, fade to black at the end.